I'm just so glad that you're not a freaky monster like everyone else in this nutso town. Ooh, this looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Bork, bork. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Goosebumps Horror Town Revisited Special. We've gotten ourselves an introduction to start with that of Playboy Vampire's work and uh, it's going to be a running theme now it seems like. But yes, finally we're going to be talking about book number 7 of 7. This is the 7th episode and the 7th uh, book we're going to be covering. That being my personal favorite, Shop to You Drop Dead. And this has a very special place to my heart because this was the one that I ended up helping with back in December of 2019. Yes, I've uh, this has been something of an interesting note, and I've always loved being involved with this. Uh, this was like, there's no way I cannot be unbiased with this one because of the personal connections with it. You know, I mean, we got our boy Reggie here, which I ended up helping to thought up of what he would probably look like there's you know our, our monster form for him which is the combination of the main title uh picture and um the fact that he's like a krampus monster we got our good old mannequins uh, both male and female despite one of them being only like a female in the uh, game or unisex i don't know and then of course we got the heart attack backpack because why not? Why not have a heart attack backpack? It's something of a interesting mystery, I should say. So, this book came out, and this recording came out, back in December of 2020. This was during the Christmas celebration, so I have some memes with that. Um, but uh, something interesting, like I, what happened with uh, Chris, with the last episode of Attack of the Christmas Presents, that one is interesting because that ended up... Uh, uh, we got we got uh, Chris's story before we actually got the Attack of the Christmas Presents story that we can continue with. So, with that, what is uh, apparent with this one is I've decided to take the liberty of making it chronologically in order. So, it's going to cut off, it's going to start again with the Rise of the Krampus storyline, and then it's going to cut midway, and then we're going to go into the storybook. Like, I'll go dive into this type of thing, but just note the Rise of the Krampus was all before the original story, but I wanted to keep it one unison because I wanted to make this, because it's mine, I want to be personal with this and make it nice. I've also added some sound effects and uh, stuff to improve from the last time I did it back in 2019. So, with that, I figured let's go ahead and dive right into the storybook and uh, see how this little story goes. So let's start off with this. This is what uh, the bundle would have looked like if you were actually new to the game. So this is the Shop Till You Drop it Dead book bundle. It is quite lovely with all the items that I've, uh, you know, thought up that would be interesting to do. Of course, you got the special side book over here. And then, yep, you got that butt bundle going on. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like when you were doing it during the event. Because uh, some of the items here are uh, uniquely to that. But we're going to continue on with uh, the beginning of Rise of the Krampus. So let's see this going through. Rise of the Krampus. Reggie Mayfield is a spoiled brat who wants things to get done. And doesn't want to be looked at as just Mr. Mayfield's son. He's a smart kid and has been telling some pretty dull lies. But be careful about what his father's mole hides inside. Father insisted I get into the family business and won't give me my allowance unless I do so. Why do I have to do it? It's not like he's in a hurry to get his job to me anyways. Well, I'm here now. Oh, that must be my contact in this town. Networking time. That phone ring though. So, have a business call, uh, do project planning, and obtain spirit boards. Yeah, okay, so this was a weird thing that happened. So, if you had Reggie during this time, he actually assisted, and, like, you were supposed to craft stuff for, um, the current event that was going on, which, ironically enough, is the 12th screen of Christmas. 
uh, the green version of it, like no snow whatsoever, so it, it's hardly even feels Christmassy. I don't know, I'm still biased with that. I'm still kind of d down with that. But yeah, a close-up of Reggie talking on his big brick phone, because those were the styles at the... Because that was the style at the time! You know, with the, with the 90s and... I don't know. This is like a weird time bubble. It just doesn't happen, right? Let's ignore Marcus's mansion for now because for some reason I need to summon this in order to continue with the story. I don't know why they want me to do this, but um, yeah, it's a weird thing. But anyways, we've done that in the future. So let's go ahead and have her done with the project planning. I've got all that done. Yep, done that. So let's uh, summon with uh, the mayor and continue with the story. So let's do this, shall we? There's that Mayfield kid with his persuasive ways and my brilliant scheming. How he control this town. <clears throat> Mr. Mayfield Jr., so glad you could make it. Let's cut to the chase. You mentioned a thrilling business opportunity. Well, I'm all ears. Oh, you won't regret this. Everyone will be spellbound by your all. <laughs> you gotta love how I set this up with, uh, with... This was during the wars between the brothers, mind you. That puppet's idea are pretty twisted. But I must admit, I like them. Now, where to set up shop? I think the only half-decent place around here is the promenade. Oh, there's the mayor now. Time to put my good old Mayfield charm to work. Alright, make it rain. Obtain the, the Gronk plushies and reach a scare old milestone. Why? <laughs> Why do I... Okay, I'm gonna just assume that he's the one who sold the plushies. Because, um... In the, the, the whole bit of the joke with the, oh, the plushies were the ones that destroyed, uh... Mr. Um... I was about to say Mr. Magoo. <laughs> uh, you know who, Mr. Piccolo's his play, so why not? And then, of course, he wants to make it rain with the money, money, money. Money. Remember that joke? Yeah, so let's just summon the Gronks. I know they're not technically with this update, but screw it. They're adorable. Anytime, any excuse to get me with these little guys, of course I'm going to summon them. You know, go ahead, you little Muppet Monster Rejects. Go, go, go terrorize people. Go show them your teeths. Got the blue one. We got green. Got yellow. <laughs> yeah, let's scare, scare. Yeah, say hi. To, say hi to the vampire for me. Uh, yeah, but um, this this story, man. I I've I've got a I gotta say I really do enjoy making making this update back then or assisting with them because um. I already went in depth. If you're curious, I, I would advise you to check a look at the playlist to the shop till you drop dead. Because that goes into detail with what exactly happened. But long story short, um, they were down a creative and uh, they needed some content to kind of hold off for uh, December. So they asked me, hey, you're into this game. You're into the community. You do these videos. Why don't you, uh, you want to assist us with this? And I'm just like, well, okay. And it was funny because, again, back then, they were like, oh, maybe if you have an idea, you could do the update with us. And I'm just like, mm, I guess, you know. But um, I ended up doing it because I was uh, I was so into the game. And I was like, you know what? Nah, why not, right? It's because yeah, what a way this has become. Like, how far this has gone, you know. We've got, I got the chance to make an, a, a story, an update like this. And then I got my own guy in, in the game. And that's why many fields bizarre would make your town an ideal tourist attraction. It will also provide this town some much needed funds. I'm not sure. I did promise the kids that we would be doing Mr. Piccolo's Christmas play this year. What if I throw in a fun scavenger hunt for them to partake in while the adults do their shopping at no extra cost? You do drive a hard bargain. But it's a deal. Poor Mr. Piccolo. I'm so sorry to hear that we won't be seeing his ghoulish play this year. Oh no, Curly, we did. In fact, this was taking place during his play. Because we are now. You're an idiot. <laughs> with all fun and games, let's just continue with it. Okay. 
I'll have the mannequins and inflatable gargoyles set up for the mall's grand opening. The mayor of this town was too easy to trick into having the mall place here. What was the play they were going to do anyways? The Twelve Screams of Christmas? Ah, sounds like a boring play with a bunch of morals and holiday crud in it. Now don't get me wrong, I don't ever hate Christmas. After all, it's the most profitable time of the year for us. In fact, there is one teeny tiny Christmas tradition I do find quite meaningful. Opening presents. Really? I was going to say mistletoe. Alright, open the beastly presents, get Flora's doll. You know, because we're still doing this. We're still crafting in this area for some reason. Uh, yeah, uh... I'm I'm quite. It's funny in the sense of us how this whole thing went about. Just, just as jealous with everything, you know. It's I'm just dumbfounded. I can't really say anything because of the whole thing. Um, the whole idea with the scavenger. It was interesting because I was actually doing research with the book because I had an idea of like, oh yeah, let's do this. I can see this being a, an update for Christmas. And when I was doing that, I was like, you know putting some elements in there and I'm just like oh this is good and you know do that and I had to cut some things down like I've learned a little bit when it came to this of course my favorite animation that I've done which is uh this big big old big old boy <laughs> like being a child and like shaking the present as if he's just happy to have it I've also mentioned with his whole deal which is like he just likes opening gifts like getting gifts he doesn't care what it is I mean he kind of cares what it is but you know, I've always imagined him being the type of... It's just an incentive, right? Just uh, kind of imply certain things within the story of kind of connecting one to the other. But, you know. Oh yeah, and uh, there's this, which is just the pop-up window of showing off what uh, this side looks like here. So you get a, get a nice close-up look on both of the Christmas books that got added to the game. Alright, so we've gone that and done now, so we should, hopefully, be able to be done. So let's have him finish up opening his present. Yay! Just what I have asked for. Let's not get too distracted. Everything seems to be ready for Father's new mall's grand opening. I'll just throw in some deals and make citizens feel like they're getting a good sale. Ha <laughs> ha! Soon. All this town's profits will go right into our pockets. I might even be rewarded with that second yacht I've always wanted. Now that horror town is getting its new mall, I wonder what horrors will witness all. I wonder indeed, and Curly. So, now we've basically put this stuff on hold, and we'll be coming back into Krampus later. Uh, this is now the point where I've decided to have some issues when it came to this game, uh, when it came to the update. Now, I ended up doing the Attack of the Christmas Presents first because uh, of a little glitch that ended up happen happening. And I've decided to, uh, smart for me, I've actually had my previous self, my old self back in 2020, uh, let you guys know exactly what was going on on the time. So let's go ahead and jump right in. See what uh, Old Grim had to say about what was going on. Now, there was an error when it comes to this update when it first came out. We didn't get a special book. For some reason, for me, I didn't get a special book. A lot of other people didn't get a special book. Strangely enough, my freemium account did get a special book. It was the Attack of the Christmas Present, so that'll make that update a lot more easier to show off. Um, but there are workaways that you can actually be able to do this. Um... If for any reason you want to get yourself a bundle or a pack, what you can contact support. And I figure I'm going to put this in here so that way you have a good idea how to do this. But they go to support and then they'll say something along the line of, oh, the bundle costs this much. So say, for example, for me, uh, I believe this is going to be the shop to you drop dead um, bundle. They said it cost about... Um, 11 something so they're like just purchase a fat wallet and a couple of bucks and then sent them the receipts for that 
And then what they'll do is that they'll take that money out of my account and put that bundle item into my yeah. Basically, they will reimburse me with that bundle so that way I can be rewarded as such. So if you want a bundle now, while they're waiting for the weekend, simply just go to con the customer support, say, hey, I'd like to purchase the blank bundle, and then they'll tell you how to do it. Do that, and they should give you it, and there you go. So now you don't have to wait for it. But as of right now, this is the only way you can do it. So, yeah, I figured I'd let you know on this. So, uh, now we're going to go back into the gameplay here. So, let's go. Yeah, so, basically, the long and short of it was that there was a glitch that was going on. Because, you know, it wouldn't be Goosebumps without that popping in and that. Well, unfortunately, because of it, a lot of people weren't able to get the storybooks. If you previously had some items before. Now, if you're new, you had no problems with this. So, it took them a little while for the actual update to pop in, finally. And, um, the only worker way around this during the time was you had to go into the game and say, Oh, let me buy these two items in, like, the, the wallets and whatnot. And to get the amount that it costs, and then they will reimburse you with the item in question if you ask them. And you basically have to contact support for this, and then they'll kind of guide you through what to do. And then if you do that, they'll kind of help you with all that stuff but I digress later on in the game I finally did get that pop-up to finally pop in so this is what it looks like for mine it looks something like this so this is all the items and uh, I got all this stuff back here again as you probably suspected and um, yeah basically we're gonna go ahead and gonna jump into the game now as it started with the whole beginning of the shop till you drop dead. Now this is going to be interesting because uh, I'm going to be doing the whole intro bit a little bit differently uh, for a few reasons. One because of the story but then the other one is uh... So unfortunately like an idiot I ended up clipping through the beginning part of the actual quest so I decided to go ahead and redo it this time around. Uh, I'm going to basically just use the one I did last year, so bear with me on this. Snow has just arrived in Hortown, which means the holiday season has officially started. However, did you know there was once a time when Christmas almost didn't happen? Sounds like my kind of story. So without further delay, as from what I previously said, here's my Christmas story entitled, Shop Till You Drop Dead. The only difference is that, you know, most of it was pretty much the same. The only exception is near the end. His face was more like pissed off face, like shown here. So there was slight changes, but not by much. Yeah, and what you'll probably figure out too is that uh, when it comes to these Spirit Editor specials, they decided to change it up a little bit slightly to kind of stay consistent as its own unique story. So yes, although this is like replaying an, uh, an event of sorts, it's not really, it's like adding a new DLC. It's weird the way they kind of done this type of system. But uh, with that a little diversion out of the way, we'll be able to kind of jump into the gameplay and see how uh, everything goes from here. So let's just go ahead and uh, see the gameplay. So let's ignore the 12 Screams of Christmas pack. And instead, let's go ahead and see that we now have Reggie on the side here, which means I finally got the book. So let's go ahead and see what the book has to say for us. So let's open it. Shop till you drop dead. You're welcome to the opening of the Mayfield's Bazaar. End story. Reggie Mayfield seems like the right new neighbor to boost commercial activity in town. All the neighbors are hyped about what his business has to offer. Will it be too late before they realize it's no regular bazaar? As you notice, there's like 5 of 15 already done. That was because of the other story in the snow globe. So the 5 is for the Reggie's story, and I've hold off two of them just for the purposes of the consistency. And yeah, when the, when the update did hit, uh, it unfortunately glitched this game out a bit because it... When I got the items, it immediately popped in with the story, so I've kind of missed out on actually tapping it on the same of. And um, yeah just some glitches galore but uh 
Again, like I said, it wouldn't be a Goosebumps game without it. So let's put this bad boy down, and when we click on it, we'll continue with the story. So let's do that, shall we? Mm -mm. Our story begins where all stories are made. Right in the town's very own promenade. The mayors get all the neighbors to town hall as she unveils the plan for Horror Town's new mall. Beloved citizens, our plan of having the Christmas play has been postponed to make way for a thrilling new project. What? I've already brought tickets for the whole family! On another note, has anyone else noticed every time something bad happens, it's always hosted on the promenade? Citizens of this town, I understand your concerns about this announcement. But please, at least hear me out. I still gotta love the fact that I had to bring Mortman in to point out the obvious of like, Oh, why is this happening? This makes no sense. But yes, this is to make a monster. Uh, so we got Santa toy bags. Uh, surprisingly, we need the Santa bag. Or, well, we do, but... Uh, you know, it's weird, but anyways, we got a bunch of stuff. Got the Goose Hunts board game, the Blasto Apes, the Wear Teddies, the uh, Laugh-O-Matic, the Shop Till You Drop uh, Hypnotizers, the Heart Attack Backpack, and then the Big re big Refund. You'll notice that the Big Refund actually needs some stuff. Like, uh, basically, even the crafting is a little bit different as far as what is needed goes. And if I recall, um, it's not too bad. And then once you start the beginning part of the story, the new character, new quests get unlocked. Like for example, free for sale supervising gingerbread house. Like basically, it gets like uh, supervising to drop certain items, right? And then he has to hide a home for a while, which is kind of consistent to the main event as well. So. Again, interesting that they've kind of opened some stuff up. And if I were to go to other characters, like say Dustin here, uh, you know, they got the Marcus stuff, that's not new. Throw snowballs, that's not new. Hunt for decorations, so that's the new one that got popped in with this update, which is um, what you've expected from this game, you know. We got uh, Lucy, which I believe do, what was it? Not that. Uh, I believe it's because of the do research bit that she already has that stuff there. Uh, Mortman, same thing. Mortman, all that type of characters have the same thing. But if we go to one other character I know, which is, um, yeah, there she is. Courtney. Yes, making snow angels. So now that's unlocked for you to do. But uh, let's continue on with the story, shall we? And that's why my father, Mr. Mayfield, had decided to help your town's economy by presenting you with this unique new shopping center. He's even offering lots of bargains on exotic and rare items. You'll be saving so much money, it'll be like stealing it away. Even if what you said is true, what would become of the children? They were expecting to have fun this year for the holidays. Already taken care of. My father's company has designed a super joy holiday scavenger hunt to keep them out of the, I mean, entertained. Also, kids will be able to trade in items they collected in exchange for some fun toys we've created for them. Fine. I'll give this ridiculous huge mall a chance. There may be something in there I can get to my children. Oh. Pat on the back, Grim. You did such a good job <laughs> marrying the crafting scenarios. Mmm! I'm so... Uh, oh, woo, I'm so good with that. Uh, smart big brain. Big brain! Why? Oh, yeah. They, they have to dec they take the decorations and trade it in for uh, the Christmas toys. That's that's why you got it. Mmm! Oh, good job. <laughs> uh, stroke, uh, stroke your ego, Grim. Inflate that balloon. Ah, uh, I digress. But, you know, let me have my fun, right? I'm never going to have... This is the only video that's going to allow me to do this, right? After that, I won't be able to. So just let me have this moment, please. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to put this down, despite me already having, like, three of them. All right, so now we got to make a monster. It drops us the reefs that is needed for this quest. And, um, yeah, I still love the fact that I've decided to marriage some of the Krampus movie stuff into this game. Uh, not by much, and it's funny because, uh, like I've mentioned before, and this is the new animation from this update that was introduced, but, uh, what was funny about it 
is the fact that we actually did get Krampus in this update. Uh, as far as the decoration goes, I think it was like the sixth scream of Christmas, I believe is what it's called. But, um, yeah, I've kind of made a note of that, but it's funny that uh, that becomes the case. But, uh, you know, it's what it is. And it is new for me to kind of, it's almost been a year since I did this recording, so that's kind of amazing that it's taken me this long to do. But I got so many other videos to do, man, you know. Trying to catch up on everything, right? I mean, especially since after this is done, it's like, what what else is there going to be? Because uh, this year has been kind of blank with uh, updates, so, you know, I'm trying to elongate this as much as possible, man. You can't blame me for that. No. <laughs> no, sir. Alright, so now we're going to have her make the snow angels, so this will be something. Yeah, because the other new items that got introduced, or the new animations, uh, they were actually done before. Like, they kind of just stayed, and uh, yeah, there she goes. Yeah, um, that's as close as you got to her doing that, so if I did see this again, I'll probably show it off, but I don't know. But you've seen it in the previous update before, so her doing snow angels, and... Uh, basically in front of it's it's weird especially since it makes sense in the winter but not so much now because uh there's no snow remember that i'm still bum hurt about that but uh i digress you know eugene now that i don't have to work on that play anymore why don't we check out this new mall together i don't know agatha there's something off about that place even for my standards this mall it's amazing! It has everything I could think of, and then some! But of course, madame. Only the best selection for my father's customers. Look at all these books. There's so much of them. I didn't even know some of them existed. You see, Eugene, this mall isn't all that bad. In fact, it's probably the best thing that has happened to this town. Worst thing to say, Mrs. Marr. Also, how do you like my sound effects? As the adults and older kids go holiday shopping, the news of the play's cancellations are indeed rather shocking. What? You mean to tell me I've learned those stupid lines for nothing? Dustin, I only had one line to remember. Children, please. I know how much this play means to you all. As an apology, my father has created a Super Joy holiday scavenger hunt for you all. Hey, why can't we go in your mall then like everyone else, rich boy? <sighs> Look, I didn't want to alarm you all since you kids are a smart bunch. But the reasoning for not letting you in is... And just like R.L. Stein, I'll leave you with a cliffhanger. <laughs> Ooh, what is it gonna be? Turn the page! Mm, finish this finish this questline to find out what he what he was saying, you know? Although if you if you played through this event, you pretty much know what 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 it is. But uh, yeah, anyways, here's her going shopping, which was introduced during this update. But for some reason, she just kept on shopping, you know, shopping with Christmas gifts for whatever reason, and Mortman planning on stuff. Although sometimes they can incorporate it in a smart way, other times not so much. And then um, you know we have um, Seder's animation, which. Uh, I think, I don't know if I showed it off, but I, I, sh I think I did at some point. But it's him just shadily rubbing his face. Just kind of show his monster form off. That was, the, that was a big thing with me. I was just like, you know what, let's show monster forms off. Because I never knew we would be able to actually see these animations again. So this was the only chance to do it. The playable lasso apes. Yes, for that movie idea. That, uh, the 4D movie theater that we never got to get so far. Uh, rip that. Oh, yeah, and uh, they got the free grate. It's, it's down. So that's the glitch I was talking about. But uh, they ended up fixing it once I contacted support and told them the situation. And they were like, oh, yeah, that didn't work. Let's fix that. Kid eating monsters? But this whole town's full of monsters. What we'll make these ones special? Well, um, all of gargoyles can um, turn you into stone if their saliva touches you. So my father is only looking out for you all. Still, that's not a very good reason to- Anywho, hope you all have fun with this scavenger hunt, kids. Remember to trade in your items at the Mega Monster. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone were to disobey the rules about entering the mall, they will have to deal with the unforeseen... 
consequences. And that got kind of uh, awkward and dark with the whole uh, quieting bit. <sighs> As the children go hunting and scurrying, Portney King arrives home and starts worrying. Mom? Dad? Anyone home? Strange. They always leave a note when they're not in the house. Come to think of it, I can't see anyone outside. Or home, for that matter. It's like a ghost town without the ghost. Oh, wait, there goes Megan. Maybe she knows what's going on. Hey, Megan! Can't talk. Must get money. Must buy new clothes. Okay, that was weird. She never acted like that before. But she did drop this. Mayfield's Bazaar. Perhaps that's where everyone is. Alright, place the abandoned gingerbread house, get some candy canes, and get obtain some gingerbread monsters. Uh, fun fact, the gingerbread monsters was reference, uh, was basically reference on the mud monster toy that, uh, I decided to go, like, make, make them look like this, and they're like, okay. And so they make this look, this weird blob monster. <laughs> no one would know, ah, yes, yeah, mud monster cookies. You know, because that's not exactly what was going on there, but, you know. Man, me and my spookiness, you know, me me and my, uh, my whole, you know, it was because of me that the whole Goosebumps lore just got screwed because it's like, oh, yeah, it's Goosebumps chaos. It's like uh, the never-ending story. Ah, <sighs> wait, I'm reading the book right now, you know, just that, not nonsense. Hmm. Oh, man, we need to find out what Reggie needs to do. Oh, I, I know. Let's read the, the uh, let's read this book. Huh, that's weird. It's exactly what's going on right now. Uh, but I digress. But, yeah, we got some stuff here. Uh, what you've noticed is I don't really place these items down until, like, um, until they're requested. And then I do so. Right. <laughs> the fact that I already have these items, I decided to put them down anyways because, you know, I like to keep it consistent. And that's, that free thing is still going to be bugging me for a while. And, uh, yeah, my town is a mess. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's an organized mess. I've kind of made it a little bit better, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, not so, uh, happy joy in this time. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got going on? Uh, eh. Oh, right, okay. now I finally got been able to show off close-up of her doing snow angels before the buildings come in and take her away. Ah, uh, there it goes. There you go. I got a better look at her doing snow angels. And in this depressing, snowless town. It's like, yeah, there's snow on the trees and whatnot, but that's not the same. It's like, it's like, so, it's like having a post, I've already complained about this. I liked it when the snow was there. It's like the only snowy place is up north over here on the northwest side. But, oh god. This mall, empty lots, inflatable gargoyles, mannequins wearing last year's clothes. Getting a bad feeling. Welcome to the Mayfield Bazaar. We have a sale on special notebooks that come with inventable ink for those keeping secrets. Is the lady interested? I... that... that does sound like a bargain. Maybe I could... Wait, no! I, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, but I have got to go! Oh. Well, thank you for shopping by. Hmm. There's more to that kid's leads on. I better keep an eye out just in case she returns. Originally, I wanted to have Reggie. Uh, hold on. Doesn't anyone else find it weird that the items we have to hunt for are all Christmas related? Candy canes, wreath, Santa bags. Who cares? It makes it so much easier to get those cool toys that guy's offering us. My point exactly, Dustin. I don't know. This whole thing just doesn't add up. Lucy, over here. Courtney? What are you doing hiding over there? Listen, I need your help. I just came back from the mall and... How do you like the fact of how I wrote these characters down? Do I put them into, like, perspective? Like, do I, do I make the justifications of them sounding like they did? I think I did a good job, but I don't know. People would probably be none the wiser. Um, but as I was saying, originally... The idea, because, you know, I was like, I had these ideas. I was like, oh, you gotta cut it down. So I'm like, okay. But one of the original ideas was I was gonna have Will 
actually be hypnotized into the mall and became a security uh, wolf of sorts just because just to have one of the on one of the people that she felt for and it's like oh no you know oh no drama and that that was originally kind of one of the ideas I had in mind you know in this big I don't know most what you need to know is most of the story is pretty much the same as idea that I had before it's just cut con you know how it is is that you write the story and then you just cut it down like you cut the fat off to make it like mm, nice and juicy just to fit the story narrative just to consist with everything and make it sense so you know part of that was also Chris's storyline to be like ah Chris I don't like you but uh, whatever <laughs> doesn't work anymore but eh, anyways let's finish things let's continue with the story e so that's why they haven't been any adults around lately. I knew something was up with that Reggie guy. It's even worse, when I arrived at the mall, I felt like... Like I was being hypnotized to go in. This is serious. Okay, Courtney, I'll try and help you figure out what's going on. Dustin, are you coming? No way! I'm going to go play with my newly acquired toys. Especially his butt-kicking backpack! Wait, Dustin! Just like Dustin, as always, he's just kind of a kid himself, so uh, that comes to bite him, though. Okay, all we have to do is just go close enough to the mall and... Hey, is that... Marty? Hey, Mayfield! I demand answers right now! What's going on now? Didn't I tell you that... Cut it there, rich boy. I demand to know why you lied to us. I don't see no monsters around here. Oh, I don't think you've looked hard enough, silly boy. Here. Let me help you adjust your vision. Now get out of my mall! Ah, uh, he pissed him off. Now we got to do the Ray Bayfield Bazaar scene. Oh boy, we finally get to show this off. Also obtain the wear teddies and get the swing going. And, uh, oh, well, this was taking place when I actually got the grand prize <laughs> of the of the other story. The one that, the, woo, spooky ghost. You know, oh, terrifying. Can't have that. But yeah, the wear teddies require this stuff, so you just need the Mayfield Bazaar scene, which uh, if you actually have bought the item, it's pretty easy to get. Like, that's the thing, right? When it was like during the... When it's like during the actual events, it's like, ooh, it's hard. But once you buy it, it's like, ah, this is easy, right? The only pain that I ever had was the haunted Halloween bit. Because the one particular item was a pain to get. Just because of the drops was just so god awful. It was terrible. But anyways, let's just see if I can do this now. The time's passed. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and summon these monsters, shall we? Alright, let's get a good close-up on these guys. Oh, there you go. Yes, I've got the mannequins that are just freaking out. Yep, and then we had, we had our boy... Yeah, we're boy Reggie down there. Kind of doing his monster stuff. <laughs> and, um, I, again, I, I basically told the team, uh, whoever the art directors is just like, uh, just have the characters, um, you can base it off of, like, the mannequin from, uh, the real Mazo had. Like, the, the magical assistant is, I think, what it's called. But just kind of make them stand out by kind of, like, maybe attacking them and make them more, like, mannequin-like, like, not lively and I think they did a pretty good job of making them look very inanimate and very awkward and stiff and also this weird jumping animation and scare I think that was based off of the jump scare I kind of gave off which was just this uh, this creepy kind of like uh, walking like basically the scene from the um, I think I talked about this during when this video was coming out that was back in uh, the shop till you drop dead uh, storyline where uh, it was basically Goosebumps of the game, where uh, the mannequins would get you if you picked the wrong one. It's like, oh no, you picked the live one, huh? It's a time to die. Oh yeah, this was the one I was talking about with uh, Reg uh, Seder acting shady. Because we need his monster form out and about, so I thought, yeah, this would be appropriate. Him just picking his monster going like, oh yes, mm. Mm. just acting like Mr. Burns is mm, excellent. Gotta plan them sales. You know, rub rub his hands together like flies do. That's kind of a weird analogy to think about, but uh, anyways, we got the spare teddies, or wear teddies, so let's see what the kids go up and react. What the? You're huge! I, I gotta get out of here! Ah! Is that a giant monster chasing Marty away? I don't know, Lucy, but I don't want to find out. Run! That's right, you little brat. Run! If I catch you here one more 
time, I'll make it your last! Keith happened to use my true form on them. Oh well. You! Make sure you don't let anyone else get in. Or out. Got it? It's because kids don't got money, that's why it doesn't work on them. Marty! What did you do? It wasn't my fault! That guy turned into a monster right in front of me! Guys, yelling at each other won't get us anywhere. We have to figure out what he is, so we can find a way to stop him. Lucy's right. There's no point in arguing right now. Although, the creature, he looks so familiar. Well, there's one way to find out where we're dealing with. To the books! To the library! <laughs> I'm trying to remember where that was from, but I remember there was a scene like, Go to the library! You know, because it's like, oh, we need we need to find out what to do. <laughs> yes, the public library. That's how we find our information. Uh, surprisingly, they did. Also, yes, the, the if you're going to ask the humbug that ruined Christmas, that is a nod to the uh, the Grinch of sorts, because this is a Krampus Krimp Grinch that we're dealing with. I figured it'll be interesting to call him a humbug instead, because, you know, copyright reasons, and who else? Oh, yeah, and by the way, continue. Shoppers have started coming out in droves, but they're not buying nearly enough. This is where Mr. Wood's plan comes in. He provided me with a secret formula to hypnotize the population so they wouldn't be so shy about spending anymore. Where are these hypnagoggles so that you could see the deals right in front of you? Wow! Yeah, that's that, that yeah. The whole drop to you drop dead hypnotizers. Um, that, that was designed by the team because they wanted to put something in there. I just thought the mall itself would be more than enough, but nah. Mr. Wood was like, hey, I got an idea. Put this on here. Why? I don't know. They they must have made a deal with something. It's been so long. It's been so long, I forgot. Forgot what happened. <laughs> Maybe someone can remember. Maybe I'll watch it again and go, ah, I, now I remember. Now that's what's going on. Yeah, and this is me putting this down finally for the first time. I think because of the spacing issue at the, at the moment, yeah, because this is weird because it's going back and forth, right? So this is what I'm talking about where people will be like, oh, wait a minute, didn't you unlock that area? It's like, yes, but this is like taking back in the past, right? This was before I got the actual book. So now you now you have an idea of what's going on and when this was taking place because like this was the last story I had to work on during this update. So it gives you an idea as, as far as like when this took place. And, uh, yeah, uh, there it is. It's loaded in there. Not the best light, but, uh, yeah. I still love the fact that I ended up making that be based off of an actual building that used to exist. That being of Honest Ed's, which is a very famous place back when Toronto was becoming its own thing. It was like a, it was like, think of it like, uh, to put it bluntly, uh, like honest eds how do i describe it it's like the dollar store equivalent to walmart if that makes sense it's like deals off the block and all that things um and what was interesting is that when the, when honest eds birthday when uh, when ed's birthday was there they used this big block party that went on and every Thanksgiving, he would uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I don't know, one of the two, he gives out like these free chickens or turkeys out. And mind you, they were kind of small, but you know, it's the thought that counts to give you anything for free. It's just kind of like, oh. So you could tell this guy was like within the small community of like immigrants that came in. Like, it's an interesting story if you wanted to take a look into the lore. When I used to live in Toronto when I was younger, I don't live there anymore. I'm actually somewhere else undisclosed location in a graveyard somewhere in a ditch down underground in the crypts just like curly yeah that's what we're going with that's where we're going with that's that's what we're doing that's what i'm doing that's what i'm selling with my story right that's what we're going with I, we're in the dead mean graveyard so I, I i'm sure you'll probably find it somewhere in canada i mean how many dead mean graveyards do you know although i failed to post it so as far as people know, it does look like an ordinary house, but I swear, I hold them, I hold them graves, and I just dig them up whenever I want to and play with their bodies. Like, oogity boogity, funny may -mays. Let's do a Rick Roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was my bad take of uh, trying to justify bringing back dead memes. 
because that's my that's my that's my premise. That's my shtick. That's my that's my character. That's who I am. If it makes sense, I'll put it in there. You know, because I like making entertainment. I like doing this. I mean, how many people do you know that goes to the effort that I do? That like for a mobile game. That I, that I voice, I edit, I put sound effects. Like, normally people just don't bother. But, you know, not, not me. I go ahead and take the extra mile because I'm that invested. I don't know if you call that dedication or sad. But uh, either or, I'm that. But, uh, yeah. For, until we get this quest done, we won't continue on with the main one. But this was supposed to be a good idea when the story takes place. When he came back into the mall... That was when he's like, hmm, we need to update the ante, right? So you get a good idea of how this story progressed. And uh, although some of it kind of makes no sense, like, you know, the thing that's going to come up here after this. But uh, anyways, here we go. Ready. Now they won't be able to resist my never-ending furious sails. And every single time, the will their piggy I still don't know why Slappy's here. I thought it would be something that would whatever. Yeah, th that's the only thing that doesn't make sense. They they kind of screwed that up with me. The idea was originally that Slappy would come across, finds that Mr. Wood is working with him, and it goes like, So, you're double-crossing me, hey? Well, fine, I'll work with the kids and get them to ruin your plans. Right? That's why he was helping them. Because it wasn't that so much of... Yeah, whatever. I guess the. I guess you just have to pretend. I guess in this version, Slappy just kind of was just like, ah, I tricked you. I'm gonna steal your money and uh, screw you over at the same time and look like the hero that I am. What is he gonna do with the money? I don't know. He's just. He's gonna have his own piggy bank with stuff. But uh, anyways, let's continue with the story. I can't find anything on this monster. It's something I haven't seen before. Hey, I found him. He's right here in this book. The humbug that ruined Christmas. Marty, that's a children's book. Wait! Now I remember where I saw him before. He's some kind of Krampus monster. When I was a little, my grandma told me a story about a monster steals from bad little boys and girls. Where Santa gives, Krampus takes away. Now, where have I heard that line before? <laughs> we have to get the others to stop getting rid of these Christmas decorations, or else this town's doomed! Worse than that, we won't have any presents for Christmas! What? It's true, isn't it? Marty, could you not think of yourself at this time like this? We have to figure a plan for- Hey, is that Dustin running towards us? <laughs> ah! Get this crazy backpack off me! Well, that's what you get. Yeah, so shop to your drop, get the items, just basically an easy quest, just to kind of play with the story. But yeah, I love that. <laughs> the fact that Dustin gets attacked by the by the Christmas present. Or not the Christmas present, but the equivalent of the Christmas present in this update, which is technically the, the shopping bags. You know, if I had if if I had the ability to, I would totally have the the those bags kinda of walk around and kinda of attack people because why not? That would have been funny. But yeah, the whole reason the shopping bag got put in, uh, not the shopping bag, the Christmas present got put in there was due to the fact that um, the creepy, um, how do we put this bluntly, the spookiness of it, <laughs> um, there was actually a real life picture of like what looks like a bag with eyes on it, so it's like, oh yeah, so we based it off of this, and they did a good job of making the, the monster, and yeah, originally in the story, there was an item that you could pick out, and if you take it out this bag, it turned out to be alive. So it's like, oh, the heart attack backpack, because it makes you have a heart attack. Oh, you know, ooh, spooky. That's, that's the equivalent to everything, but yeah, we'll have Curly help us out with some of these items, because they're easy to get. Oh yeah, and have him wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Do, 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 you know. Uh, that that was that was should have been the song I put down when I originally played that, but um, that the problem is with that that would be copyright and that that's something I don't want to deal with because you know I can't I can't barely make it without them it's a copy ID system going like ah yes I know what this song is you can't you can't fool me I know what it is <laughs> videos though can't can't do that if it's under five seconds you know. I think that's what it is. As long as it's like under five seconds, the robot 
tends not to bother with it unless you can actually kind of mask it enough so that it wouldn't be able to detect it. Be like, oh yes, this is based off this movie or this cartoon or scene or song, right? Oh, so I love uh, Mr. Piccolo having snow and attached to his... Uh, his, his robotic machine there, his wheelchair, his Professor Xavier's chair. Where did, ha where did he get that, by the way? That's what I want to know. And, oh, the spooky... Ooh, spooky ghost. Uh, spooky ghost Mr. Marcus. Oh, no. Can't, can't have that. All right, so we're done with all the items now. So we'll just collect the last one and uh, continue with the story. There. At least we've managed to recover some of the decorations. Hey, you two. I don't know how you can take down the Krampus and save the town for good. A talking doll? I don't know. What if it's a trap set by the Krampus himself? Oh, trust me, kid. I know exactly what way to leave this is. No, I'm interested or not. I believe this was the first time that both of them met Slappy. Okay, Slappy. We've collected a whole bunch of toys and made them into a huge pile here. Just like you said. You better not be lying to us. Relax, Missy. These are real crackers. There's no way he gets one of these many toys for a mile away. And for you guys, we'll be waiting for a present you'll never forget. Made from very creepy toys. And with just that beautiful vanity. I'm not sure if your plan is, but I sure hope you're right this time. Alright, place the tree down, get the backpacks, and get the hypnotizers. And um, that's the other thing, too. They don't really play, oh, like, a whole well to kind of connect it with the, the, the missions I see. But, you know, whatever. It, it's what it is. One thing I'll note, though, that I find very interesting is, um... I'm trying to think now what it was, because, uh... Yeah, I think the only regret I had with this update was I didn't explain how Slappy knew that he was Tickleus. Uh, now, mind you, most people would probably look at that and think of, Oh, is that because of the Tickle Me Elmo toy? And it's like, no, actually no. Uh, although that was a part, like, that was part of some of the Wear Teddy's design. Actually, you know, besides actually Krampus Monster. But, uh, no, the, the re reason is because one of the endings to the story, and I've... I think I've explained this before, but in the ending of the story, he turns into a monster, and then you can tickle him, and you don't die from the story. In fact, he kind of is like, all right, uh, I'll let you pass kind of deal. But it's considered a bad ending because the parents come in and be like, you stayed up all night without going back to sleep? How dare you? You're grounded, right? And it's like, oh, no, uh, bad ending. You got grounded. Oh, no. Ooh. Not like nowadays. It's like, oh, ooh. What are you going to do to me, old man? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a edgy boy. Edgy boy! Alright. So I got these down in the bag. That will be easy for me to get. They're not as hard as they used to be, so that's good. You know, again, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But uh, that's what you can expect, right? But uh, I digress. Anyways, let's go ahead. Get some of this stuff going here. And uh, see where this goes. So we got that. Yeah, check mark there. And this should be. Now we're going to be working with getting this, which is the shop to you drop hypnotizers, because that's the next thing that's going to be hard to get. Not too hard, mind you, but you know, hard enough. I decided to go with the backpacks first before this one because of obvious reasons. But we're done. Let's continue. So, this is where the strong sense is coming from. Hold on, are those... presents? Hey Reggie, there's a present here with your name on it! Oh boy, it must be for Father. I hope it's what I asked him for. Wait a minute... What the... Ah! <laughs> this is the special effects of him getting blown up in the face. <laughs> a glitter bomb? You little brats! <laughs> when I... <laughs> I will... <laughs> Why am I... <laughs> laughing? Happy was right. You are ticklish. Uh, what is that laughter? What am I... Wait, what is this? Did I just buy a bunch of cardboard? 
Spends how much? Where is the manager? Oh no. Karen Mortman here. You don't want to piss him off. Let me speak to the manager. Attention shoppers. For all the complaints and returns, follow the laughter of the owner as he ripped these suckers off big time. Have a nice day. I still love that PA system I end up getting. It's like, ah, oh, that is so, that fits so well to a mall to, um, announcement type of thing. Man, I'm really digging what I did with the special effects here, man. I feel so proud. I feel confident. I feel like, mmm, yes, this is my magnum opus. <laughs> if, if anything happens, this is my magnum opus. Uh, which is kind of sad. I Actually, it's not my magnum opus, but, you know, for, for this game, I, I feel accomplished, right? Like, it's like, ah, oh, let me have this moment, please. You know, good for me. I also love the fact they got, like, they woke up from their trance and realized they were buying a bunch of, like, fake garbage. Like, you know, dirty um, plastic bags and um, fake items, like... Oh, like this cute. Oh, I bet this cute boy. And then you just realize from the trance it's like a cardboard cutout of somebody, or then one of the mannequins, which is kind of awkward. But yeah, that that's the fun part about it. Like you have to imagine what was the store like, right? And um, yeah, but yeah, the the the, the other reason too why I based this mall off of Honest Edge is because he was known that that place was known for like their deals, like. They actually had hand-painted uh, signs that say 50% off of or get this and get, th uh, th get buy one, get th free off for 50% or, you know, something something as insane like that, right? And it, the honest ads, it's like that kind of uh, memes you see in the back. It's like, I'm Crazy Eddie and my, all, all sales must go, you know, all that type of stuff. In fact, I think you're curious enough if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, which I guess you are if you're seeing this video. You're like, oh, that's a dumb comic grim. And I'm going to put all the other items down that uh, we don't get to see in this um, video for some reason. But, uh, you know, this is technically the last video update or before the end of the story but as you know i hold out the last episode to kind of continue to finish the actual technically of how the story is supposed to end so there you got that going i don't know why they split the way they did but um yeah they did i kind of thought it would just be three but now they added four different parts there so okay yeah whatever i guess that's 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 the derogative after all um right what was i saying oh yeah if you're interested, go on YouTube, you can look up Honest Eds, and you can probably see some commercials, and you, you get a good idea, or, you know, you see some people who actually went to the videos, because there's some videos out there, so you get to look and go, oh, so that's what that is, right? And the reason I think they took it down was because it was a very old building, right? And they're like, oh, ew, ucky, I don't want to, I don't want to fix this old building, I'm just going to make this big, um, plot, that's the other problem, too, like, it was, like, used to be, like, this nice little, small, uh, city, but then they turn into like this ginormous conglomerate that we know today that they have to build sky buildings just to have people house in them and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I visit like that's the thing too. Like, it get hard to go down to Toronto nowadays because it's like going down the arthritis town. It's like the heart is clogged with it comes to the highways. The only thing I'll say that's good about Toronto is that they have a subway system so that you can technically just go off of like a, like a, a city, or not a city, but like a, um, what do you call them, like subsections that's out of town, go into the subway system and you get to where you need to get to without having to go so far of a distance. So it's like one of those unique features of like, ah, yes, makes it kind of, makes it better, you know, in my opinion. You just have to make some travels, but... You know, for the most part, you know, not too bad. I think uh, they had a system... Like, I think I did that one time where I ended up going to a mall just so I'd been able to uh, go to a, some expo, I think. And that was what I did, was I went to the mall, went to the subway system, and then went, left to get to this convention center, and then by vice versa. But anyways... <laughs> you little brats! I'll make you regret the day you... Look like an idiot. Hey, there 
There he is! We demand our money back now, you snake oil salesman! You single-handedly ruined Christmas! The nerve keeping me away from my family on Christmas! Everyone, let's give this Krampus the super joy holiday fright of his life! Marr! So that's the end of the Shop to You Drop Dead story, but now let's finish off the actual story to the real Krampus thing. Must keep buying. <laughs> Must not miss sales. Must... Hey, what's going on? Where am I? Hey, I didn't buy all this. Where's that little scamper? There he is! Let's give him a good scare! Ah! Ah, I hate this town! Daddy! Uh oh. Looks like somebody noticed. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Yeah, so this was taking place at the, uh, r like, Slappy versus his brother type of arc. And, uh, this is the final conclusion. We're gonna finally finish this, and yeah, for some reason, the last one not uh, get you the Rat King. Now, I don't know how this works now. I don't know how this worked after the fact. I think you weren't able to get this uh, afterwards. I'm not too sure. I know that they they passed a Halloween event, and that was when the haunted uh, the the haunted Halloween became available again. So that might be the case. Maybe they just had it disabled because it was just like, oh well, I mean, you needed. You needed this, right, for the time, so... I don't know. Like, they had these ideas that work for the time being, but then if you're new or you come in after the fact, it's like some of these things just end up becoming bug, and it's just like, oh, wait a minute. I can't complete this because I need this item that doesn't exist. Well, don't worry, it comes back eventually. Some point in, I, I don't know, some sometime. And it's like, what are you talking about maybe sometime? Why not now? And they're like, ah, the fraud Mm, you know, hands up in the air. You know, so let's just summon with the old tavern stuff. And then after this is complete, we'll be able to just uh, finish off the story. So let's just, you know, let's, you know what? You get the idea. Let's just go ahead. Sorry, it's you. Uh, um, hey, listen. Christmas narration is finally complete, and while Slappy might look dumb, he's actually real s- Finish it out of rhyme, Charlie, and I'll give you something much worse. And that's the end of the story, so that's the true ending to the story. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so, that I had fun with the storyline for the most part, and, um... I, uh, yeah, the whole bit of like, oh, Slappy's actually quite sweet, you know, that that gimmick of, uh, oh, and that day, you know, he, he had three, his heart grew three sizes that day, you know, and now we get to finally unlock the, uh, the snow globe, which is a very hard nod to the uh, Krampus uh, logo and uh, having a bit of the thing in there. Also, when I when I suggested it, I thought it would be like this weird statue hand, but no, they literally had a decapitated hand and be like, yes, that's exactly what it is. And with me, I ended up placing it in such a unique way. I placed it like besides Reggie's house, so it looked like a hand coming out of the house, and it's like it makes it even more creepy, the way that every the camera is angled and all that stuff. But yeah, that's so disturbing with the hand. Like I did not say, no, oh, yes, decapitate a hand with the bones and everything. It's like no, I did not want that. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh no, I guess it didn't specify. But yeah, no, that's, that's, ooh, ooh, that's dirty. But, uh, yeah. But anyways, we're, we're slowly getting this down, so let's do the big refund. We got the, uh, the laugh o And, uh, we got this one going on here, so let's just click that. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this thing off right here, the last of it. Which should be the laugh, uh, the hypnotizers. 
And um, I've, I'll mention this here because I'll just be curious. If you're wondering with the Lapomatic, I actually ended up making it. Like, I took a werewolf hand, I took a spring, and then I made a happy face on the box. And it's just like, have it be looking like this and have glitter like a, like a ooh, surprise kind of up there. You know, because, you know, the hand was going to tickle you, right? That, that was the whole idea. But then I, I learned from Playboy Vampires, it's like, huh, I wonder if they based this thing off of the design I did. And I'm just like, oh, crap, it does look like what I had. And I'm like, huh, two, two minds think alike. I swear, I did not see your art at all. And, and then, I, then I did, right? So, yeah, I, I completed it. You only get one of these, and I really got that one. So, yeah, I completed it. Let's go look at the item that I won, quote unquote. Technically, I already got it, but yeah. All right, that's nice. Yeah, yeah finish that. And uh, yeah, this was taking place in the new update, <laughs> January. <laughs> oh, the 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 saddest part of the. Oh, ooh, my heart. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is what it looks like. So you got a good idea. You know, creepy hand. Clothing. Uh, the, again, this is what I like. It's like the big hands coming out of Reggie's house. Why? I don't know. Why not? So, that's the snow globe, and, uh, yeah. That's it for this update. And, uh, quite honestly, this was an interesting, uh, this was an interesting take. I, I will have to say to the team that I was, I felt honored that I was able to assist with them in some way, and was, uh, able to kind of do this for you guys. I only hope that people who've played this event, or seen the story or anything like that, enjoyed it as much as I did as well. Uh, mind you, the event itself I wasn't too much of a proud of, but, you know, the story and the items I brought in, I thought, yeah, that was, that was a kind of good idea. Mind you, the sign was supposed to be like a welcome to Horror Town sign, but, uh, that, they ended up changing that last minute for some reason, because, you know, for, God forbid, they can't have real words because of, um, you know, local case, localization or something like that. But, yeah, I think that's about it, so... Yeah, I think we're done with that, so we're going to finally finish off with our last two books we have to complete. And uh, from that, we should be done. So, uh, yeah, I'm Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time for whatever Horror Town has in store for us. So, just remember to keep uh, your shopping under discount, get them deals, and uh, hope you don't go too holiday crazy.